on to our camera capturing the city finally picking up downed light poles, including the one we showed you yesterday at five lying along DuSable Lakeshore Drive. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonio first exposed that danger that cost at least one driver thousands of dollars. She is live along the drive with this big development today. Suzanne. Marie, I'm going to show you something. Take a look right here. This outline that you see right here that I'm walking along, this is about 36 feet long. This is where one of those light poles was yesterday. Now, we saw CDOT crews here around 1245, and they left with quite a haul. Take a look. On top of this Chicago Department of Transportation truck, four light poles. Among them, two that had been on this stretch of DuSable Lakeshore Drive yesterday, just north of 31st Street. You can see a large amount of rust on two of the poles. We spoke to a woman named Stacy Sweat on Wednesday. She told us she was with her husband when he ran over this pole on the night of July 30th in their Lexus. We look over and it's a light pole laying across the Lakeshore Drive, like all the northbound lanes. And then our indicator light comes on and says that we have two flat tires and our car is riding disabled. When we spoke to Sweat yesterday, it wasn't clear if the pole fell onto the drive because of its rusted condition or if someone hit it with a car. CDOT is telling us today it appears the light pole was hit by a vehicle. After speaking to Sweat about her experience and receiving a viewer email this morning, we decided to drive from Hollywood to Jeffrey Boulevard, both northbound and southbound on DuSable Lakeshore Drive. We counted nearly 50 missing light poles and at least five poles that were on the ground. Many of the missing poles were marked by orange traffic cones. Others were not, making exposed wires visible. An expert that has worked with the two investigators extensively about light pole dangers says exposed wiring can pose a problem. If the wires are live, yes, that is that would definitely be um, a, a huge safety uh, concern for the general public. In a statement, CDOT told us they regularly assess the condition of street light poles and wiring to make targeted repairs and replacements. This includes ongoing assessments on DuSable Lakeshore Drive by CDOT's Division of Electrical Operations. Now, CDOT says replacing poles like the one that used to be right here where you're looking at is labor intensive and the process takes time. They tell us that they are working on replacing all of the poles along this stretch of DuSable Lakeshore Drive. Live along DuSable Lakeshore Drive, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Suzanne.